All right. What's going on, guys? This is Brian here. It has been a while. It has been quite a while. So finally, I finished the exams. And since February, I mean April the 14th, my drone is finally back. My drone actually came back on, on the second day. And so, here I am going to test and try to hopefully, re not really hopefully, but like I'm going to try and recreate what happened that morning of the morning of uh, that morning that my drone actually flew away. So, what we're gonna do today is I'm going to try to try and recreate that morning camera and hopefully if anything does happen I will just switch to Addy mode I'll switch to Addy mode there's my phantom if anything I will change the change it to Addy mode all right so compass calibration I did an IMU calibration at home firmware is off the latest firmware version radio quality is good as you can see aircraft battery 98% so what I'm going to do today is actually I'm going to fly it a little bit but I'm going to try to keep it below even 40 meters I'm just going to keep it just a little bit above 30 meters and you know uh, I'm going to try and recreate what I did last time which was test the return to home function and then just before I land, I will cancel return to home and then reset a new um, home point. Now if it does uh, fly away and set its own home point somewhere else again, then for sure it is, um, it would be the software or the GPS function that is wrong and not the user error. So compass calibrate, I'll just calibrate the compass, ensure there's no magnets. Rotate 360, <clears throat> there it is, and there you go, green, face downwards, and spin, there you go, blinking green. Alright, blinking green and blinking green. It says it is safe to fly. PGPS mode, FGPS, add to do. Alright, and then what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to start the recording. Just before that, I'm going to set check the general settings. Uh, use me measurements is metric, that's what I want. Uh huh. RC, 90. Really, it's just return to home altitude, 30 meters. Hit home point settings. I'm going to say home point will be set to aircraft's current position. When required, it will return to its maximum altitude according to your field safe settings. Hold on. Just before that, I'm just going to make sure beginner mode is off. Maximum altitude. I'm going to set maximum altitude to just 30 five meters maximum altitude to 35 meters distance limit 200 meters I'm going to set 150 meters as the maximum advanced settings going to advanced settings sensors if RC signal is lost you should return to home so smart return to home is turned off okay LED lights on uh, RC signal loss return to home so if anything happens and it starts to fly away I am going to change to Addy mode and hopefully that will bring my quad back if it doesn't then that really sucks Alright, so voltage is 
17.07 everything is 4.26 volts or more Critical battery warning will be 30% critical battery low battery warning and then critical battery is 10% flight time don't see anything like that all right and there's the home point this is where I am just to check again if you keep an eye on that arrow there you go all right so attitude mode it's safe to fly I'm gonna enter into PG's remote controller signal is weak all right so I'm gonna switch to PGPS PGPS and let's get started bring your volume media volume set that to max and let's go let's go for flight and record home point has been recorded safe to fly recording 11 seconds in Alright, so there's the Phantom, it is a little bit drifting in GPS, 12 satellites, notice, 12 satellites. And so, let's go. Alright, before we leave, let's just take a picture. It's me. Alright, in case it does fly away and someone finds it, just, uh, you, you, uh, SD card is here, there's my dad next to me, he just arrived. It's still a little bit drifting, it's on PGPS mode. Alright, let's take it out. Bring it up to at least 20 meters. Let's send it out a bit more, increasing height. Alright, so we're just gonna send it out. 15 meters. It's out there, it's pretty far on the camera. It'll probably be like a speck by now. Reaching 32 meters. Alright, so let's just fly it. Flying around, give like a panel. Do a panel. There's a plane up there, but it's really far away. Much too far away for anything to even see it. So I'm safe distances. All right. So let's just give it some forward momentum and we're going to go ahead and and send it that way. Another one coming soon. Right. My dad's just letting me know that there's another plane coming soon. I'm just gonna bring it down just a little bit under or close to 30 meters no plane should be at 30 meters all right so there's my phantom and another sort of panel right there it's directly facing this way now i'm going to call it home player return position nope cancel now it should be like this Return to home. Return to fun home function is initiated. I'm not doing anything. Phantom is headed back this way. It's coming back. It's coming back. There it is. 
just above and it's coming Hallelujah. Hallelujah. it's coming back Amen. there we are on the screen it's coming back at 85% battery 3.84 watt volts there it is coming back down what I'm actually going to be doing is I really hope this thing is recording yeah it's recording Phew. otherwise then this test would be like ridiculous my dad's kicking in the soccer ball and I'm going to cancel and I'm going to go ahead and still in PGPS mode and switch this the recording about four minutes into the flight 3.81 percent now the green is there I'm gonna send it over just a little bit I'm going to set its home point right there it's still in view in between the two sand pits all right still in pgps mode now i'm going to set current position if you can see that original home point your current position is, is far away from the original home point so select a position the aircraft will return to current position the green's there current position the maximum flight distance reached. What, you, what do you know Turn to home. Go home. Maximum flight distance reached. It is drifting again. And it flipped. If you look on the map, it has jumped the home point once again. Green. It's tilted. I hope the props are okay. Um my dad's running after it otherwise it would have flown away as you can see the home point stopped again phantoms here the colors are all a little bit dinged uh -huh. but nothing is broken it flipped because I had to bring it down. All right, so the home point jumped again, which is here, all right? So let's just set, go back to here and RC signal, return to home and everything like that. It should still be recording. Return to home, okay. Going back again. Max altitude 35 meters, maximum distance 150. Okay, advanced settings. Smart return to home is disabled. All right, 11, 11 GPS. So you can see the home point is far away. Let me see if I can move and see if this thing is even seeing. All right, so there's the Phantom there and Safe to apply GPS it says. Okay, so the home point has been updated. Home point is updated. Off. Let me just try to do this. Let me just go ahead and just there's a remote controller. Far away from the position. Original home point. Current position. The maximum flight distance. Go home. It's returning home. Where is the home? That's the original home point. It's increasing in altitude 20, 29 meters. It's headed home apparently. Going really fast. Maximum flight distance reached. Attitude mode. 
and it's flying away again. Oh gosh. There you go again. Fly away. Google it, hi. Hi, you find signal. Could I say on go? You guys on go? I want to go past it. Hi, go, 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 Okay, we lock just there. There it is. Whew. I'm gonna turn it off. But there you go. Would you look at that? It was like all the way out here by itself. Ridiculous, right? I know. So I think turn to home function to set current position. I think it is not ready. Not ready. So don't do that on the Phantom Standard. It's not smart to do. Not a smart thing to do at all. All right, I'm gonna bring it home, let it recharge, make sure everything's okay again, and we'll leave it at that. Ugh. Highway, all those are safe for. Still not broken, which is crazy. So yeah, my dad just said. If this landed on the highway, that would be very dangerous. Um, now what I did just before I took off again was I used set current position. I took off and I started headed over there. Uh, I sort of just took a guess and then I tried to pull it backwards. Too danger, man. This company, no good. This product has very, very danger. Uh -huh. So we're gonna call it a day uh, before, you know, we're gonna call it a day before the next flight. Um, so now I think I'm going to stay away from the set current position because that thing does not work current position apparently the phantom thinks it's always very far away it came to here so now I'm recording just continuous stream I'm glad my drone is here and it didn't crash into anything or cause any accidents again for the second time So yeah, there you have it, if you have a Phantom Standard, I don't know if this applies to the Vans or a Professional, I don't know. Do not use the set current position, and uh, you should only use the return to home function once, and that's from its takeoff position. That's from its takeoff position, that's right.